Getting the Valorant DX11 feature level 10.0 is required to run the engine error. Here are 5 ways you can fix it. Before we move forward, do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. It's free and helps us a lot. You can also support us through buy me a coffee. We do tons of research trying to find the working solutions for you. Your little support will help us continue making solution videos for you and others. Now let's get started. Method 1 The first thing you need to do is download DirectX and install it. Type DirectX on Google and open the microsoft.com link which should be the top result. Click on the download option and wait for the download to finish. Run the installer after it downloads and follow the on-screen instructions to finish the installation process. Now restart your PC. Method 2 Another thing you can do is try updating your windows. Windows Update also installs the latest version of DirectX that your PC is lacking. Type check for updates in the search bar and select the top result. Now click on the check for updates option and see if any update is available. Download the latest updates if available and install them. Restart your PC. After the PC restarts, check if Valorant is working correctly. Method 3. Update Graphics Drivers If installing DirectX didn't work, then try updating your graphics driver. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use GeForce Experience to update the graphics drivers. If you don't have it installed, download and install it from NVIDIA's website first. Run GeForce Experience. After you open the app, click on Drivers and check if any new drivers are available. Download and install it. For AMD graphics cards, the process is similar but uses the Radeon software instead of GeForce Experience. Run the app and check for any available drivers. Download and install the latest drivers. Restart your PC. Method 4 The next thing you can do is disable and enable the graphics driver. Right click on the Start menu and select the Device Manager option. Expand Display Adapter and right-click on your graphics driver. Select Disable Device. You will see a black screen for a split second so don't panic. Right-click on the graphics driver again and select Enable Device this time. Run the game and see if it works now. Method 5 the next thing you can do is make sure the VGC service is running. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type services.msc and click on OK. Now look for the VGC service and double click on it. Change the startup type to automatic. Click on Start if it can be clicked. Else, click on Stop and then click on Start. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Now open the run again and type msconfig. Press enter to open system configuration window. Click on the services tab and look for the VGC service listed here. Check the box next to the VGC service to enable it. Click on apply and ok to save the changes. Restart your PC. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel and get quick solutions to all your tech issues. Join our Facebook group where you will get direct help on everything tech. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Support our dedicated team of troubleshooters and editors directly through Buy Me A Coffee. Thanks for watching and always remember that we are here to help you out.